Hey guys, it's Monica and I am going to share with you a tag. And I did this tag uh, about makeup and it was sort of like, if you lost all your makeup, what 10 products would you just have to, have to, have to go back and buy? And I thought it would be really cool to do this on wigs as well. So if you're curious, if I lost all my wigs, and I have a lot, if I lost all my wigs, which ones would I purchase and why? So stay tuned. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. So I kind of thought this was fun, right? If I lost all my wigs, what would I purchase? Well, I, I've decided I'm going to narrow it down to five wigs and two toppers. And I have probably six different brands in toppers. And um, I'm going to narrow it down to two toppers because actually the toppers are what I wear the majority of the time. So, um, you know, I'll show you those and I'll talk about those. But for the wigs, if I lost them all, right, which ones would I go out and purchase? And to be very honest with you, every single wig that I am going to show you, with the exception of two, I have bought myself. So um, two were gifted to me for review and the rest I bought myself. So, uh, you know, I really, really had to think about this. And I decided that I was going to pick the wigs that I actually wear the most. And first up, probably because this has been sort of an all-time favorite of mine, um, but yeah, this is, this is just absolutely a gorgeous piece. And I love this. I love this hair. This is Raquel Welch, and this is the color Shade of Cappuccino, which in the Raquel Welch line is my favorite shade, and this is Upstage. I absolutely love Upstage. I, I think Upstage is beautiful. Now, I would consider this to be a high-density hair, um, lots of hair. I There... <sighs> There's probably enough hermites to keep it shaped, but definitely there's a lot of volume here, a lot of volume. But the cap is just amazing. This is a hand-tied cap. I'll show it to you when I switch hair in a bit. The lace front is amazing. I absolutely love the comfort. I love the, I just, I love everything about this. This is heat-friendly fibers, so you can style it. I've done nothing but wash this. Nothing but wash this. Um, I've done a little bit of, of spritzing of conditioner and that's really about it. Isn't she pretty? So I would say hands down. Yeah, this one hands down. So I'll show you the cap. I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna put on, uh, when I come back, I'll have another wig on. She's back. <laughs> so let me show you the cap on Upstage because I don't wanna forget to do that. So Raquel Welch, in my opinion, is, I think, hands down, exceptional lace fronts. Um, I have the very first Raquel Welch wig I had, which was Flirt Alert, and my second Raquel Welch wig was Editor's Pick. Hands down, the lace front just blew me away, and the lace front is beautiful. But on Upstage, you know, you've got, uh, you've got an extended monofilament here, so you can do some different potting options. And the cap is all hand tied. I absolutely love this wig. I think I bought this wig, I don't know, maybe, oh gosh, maybe a year ago, maybe two years ago now. This, I bought this used, gently used from a wig sister on uh, one of the Facebook groups. And I love it. I mean, I can share some tips on buying used wigs in a future video, but I absolutely love it. This particular piece that I have on is Henry Magu's Farah, and this is an 88 GR. And let me do a quick spin. I just put this on my head, so I'm not too sure um, if I need to do some combing or styling. Uh, 
I have worn this a number of times. Um, I do find that this one, and, and it still does have a little shine because I've only washed this once, but of course the more you wash them, the more shine goes away. I use Batiste Dry Shampoo. I have it in a couple of different tints, if you want to call it. Um, but I use like a medium brown and I just kind of like spray some of this on to a dock in it And also I have a one that has no color at all and that I use just simply to basically take the shine out and Henry Magoo, I think uh, Is amazing this wig was gifted to me in exchange for review and I I absolutely love it now I've reviewed a number of wigs from when um a number of wigs that I review I'd never buy myself. There are some that I review that I think do not look good on me at all. But I'm reviewing them so you can see what they might look like before you decide to buy. So this one, hands down, a very, what do you want to call it, user-friendly. It's a throw-and-go. I think this is amazing. I really, really love it. Henry Magoo is another one that does fabulous, fabulous lace fronts. Fabulous lace fronts. His fibers are beautiful, very realistic looking. I know this is probably still pulling a little bit more shine, but very realistic looking. Now I'm gonna put my third one on. And she's back. So um, let me just show you the cap on Farah, Henry Magoo's Farah. Again, Henry Magoo, in my opinion, has an amazingly beautiful lace front and his fibers are gorgeous. I love the parting option on this. It has a nice monofilament top, so you can have some variations if you want for a little bit of movement and a little bit of styling. Really nice. Fibers are not heavy. They're not, I don't consider this heavy or high density at all. Uh, very little permatees, if any, just enough to give it its shape. It is a beautiful, beautiful everyday wig. And um, if something would happen in my collection, I would replace that. And that, again, was sent to me for review. This particular wig is John Renault. Now, I have a number of different John Renault wigs. I have some short ones. Um, I prefer, because I have a long face, I prefer to have a little bit more hair than short pixies. I think short looks better on me than long, right? Because I consider anything that goes below my shoulders to be long. This I consider to be short. And then anything that has no hair here and is very, very short and has short bangs is like a pixie style for me. I do not believe I look good in that kind of style at all. But this is John Minot's Ignite. I bought this, gosh, Again, this is an old piece. This is not a new piece. When they update their styles and update their caps on some of the pieces, I just kind of like, oh, I want to see the new caps. But anyways, this particular one is a workhorse for me. I have, I would definitely replace this. I might try it in a different shade, uh, but I would definitely replace this. I've worn this wig probably the most out of all of my wigs outside, meaning outside in windy conditions, at the beach, um, other times I might you know, put a wig on, we're going out to dinner or whatever, but if I know we're going to be outside gallivanting, it's this one and my Henry Magoo Farah that I put on the most. So, I just think this is timeless. I love this. This is such a pretty, pretty piece. And now for my next selection. One of my very, very first wig loves. Um, when I first saw this wig, I don't even remember when and who, but I first saw it on YouTube years ago on an older woman. Um, I was like, I want that hair. And I was like, she's older than I am and she's pulling off that hair, right? I want that hair. I didn't think I would be too old for it. It is a lot of hair. There is some permatees here. You can feel it, but I think hands down, I have so much versatility with this wig. I have worn this wig up, pinned back, put in a ponytail, a low pony, put up, twisted up. I've worn it so many different ways, and this is in the color shade of cappuccino. You guessed it. 
I happen to really like this. So this is Raquel Welch, exquisite, exquisite lace front. Oh my gosh. I love how the fibers are sewn in around your temple, around your face. Gives you um, a natural look. It looks very light, just looks super, super pretty. I love this. Yeah, I would definitely buy this again. And I would love to get the Elite. Oh my gosh. I would love to get the Elite. <laughs> All right, hint, hint, anyone listening? I would love to get the Elite. I love this. Probably my favorite, uh, but it is not the one I wear the most. I just love this style. You know, and this is probably the longest style that I would be able to pull off. So. So this one is another Raquel Welch in the exact same shade, shade of cappuccino. I absolutely love this color, as you know. Um, I am looking to try something in uh, some of the new colors like brown sugar, sweet cream in a style that I would wear. Not in a real short, short pixie cut because I wouldn't wear that day in and day out or whatever. But this is me. This is me. This is real deal. Um, the only thing I have always not really liked about this is the blunt edges. I think it's, it's probably a little bit too out there for me, but I do like it. So, yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful piece. I love this one. This was purchased by me. Uh, again, I don't know. I've worn it a lot. I don't really know when, um, but I'm going to list all below, all the links below so you can see because I really do, do like it a lot. Now I'm going to just show you the toppers that I would select because I don't want to take them off. I wouldn't be able to style my hair. My favorite, my favorite topper uh, and th this is um, Chameleon. This is in Golden Wheat, which is not my favorite color, but it's in Golden Wheat, and I can make this blend perfectly with my hair. I love the density. It's really super light. I love how natural, I love the lace front. Oh my God, it is so comfortable. You don't have to wear this as a lace front. You can push it back off your hair. So hands down, this piece by Raquel Welch. This was actually sent to me from the wig company for review when I did an interview with Christina. Um, this was one of the pieces I wore. They had sent this to me and this has become my favorite. So if I lost all my toppers, this is the first one I would replace. And like I said, I have like six different brands in toppers. This is the first one I would replace. And the second one that I would replace is my John Renault. Um, and this is the easy part eight. I actually have a backup of this that I have bought. I really like this. This is probably the topper I've worn a lot longer. This is a newer topper, but I have worn it forever. I mean, I've worn it so often. Almost every day I wear a topper of some sorts. So this, these two, the John Reno easy part, eight inch, and the chameleon, um, and I have it in golden wheat, and I'm really surprised at how, how ungolden golden wheat is. But I'd be really afraid that it might be golden, um, you know, if you bought it. So, if you don't want golden. So, the other thing I would grab is my hair, my hair, my hair buns, my fake buns. I would definitely, these are probably the first things I would replace along with the topper, right? Because I would wear them all the time. So, uh, my scrunchies. And these you can get at, you can get them at Ulta. You can get them on most wig retailers. Um... I was sent one complimentary from the wig company and it's this one. I just haven't even, I haven't real. it's still in the package even though I opened it because I have this. So these are the hair you wear. They are heat friendly. I love them. And my other favorite one is the one with the tendrils. I just love this one. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, I hope you stayed to the end. I hope you watched it. I think it's really hard sometimes when you watch wig reviewers and people are talking about wigs and you want to go, well, which one do you really like? You know, what is your real favorite? So, um, yeah, you have my top five wigs, my top two toppers and the two hair buns that I always buy. And before I close, I want you to know that I have a 22 inch circumference face, head shape, and nine inches from my hairline to to my chin so a wig like this might look longer on you 
if you have a shorter or maybe more average face than I do. Mine is on the large size. So anyways, I thought this was super fun. I'm going to link my makeup video here and I'm also going to do one on skincare. So I'm 67, skincare, makeup, hair care, all of that is part of the package of my attempt to feel good, to maintain um, as a younger attitude as I possibly can, and just to be, you know, um, just to feel my best. And so all of these accessories go a long way to helping me get there. And so I want to thank you for watching. Have any ideas for future videos? Let me know below. Bye-bye.